Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm sharing my monthly favorites and just the makeup and products that I have been loving this month. So if you want to know what those products are, then just keep on watching. Oh, and before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. And now let's get started. If you guys are interested in this makeup look and how I do like my braids, I'm going to link it down below as well as on the little card up here. The first product that I have here, um, lately here in San Diego has been kind of dry. It's fall, but I mean, we really don't have seasons here. Like, it's always like either hot. I mean, probably like in late December, early January, it's, it's when it starts getting like really cold. Um, and that's when you can like use your hoodies, uh, but lately it's been like really 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 dry outside um, So I have been loving two products that have helped my skin um, I have or I used to have uh, Oily skin, but now I'm thinking I have more of a combo skin like dry skin normal skin um, My face hasn't been getting as oily as it used to get um, So I have been loving the first day beauty ultra repair cream intense hydration for dry parched skin Skin. Um, this is a little sample size. I got it from Sephora. Um, it's just an amazing moisturizer. You feel instantly like super hydrated on your face, and the, like my skin absorbs it really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I have been loving this. I've been using it kind of like as a primer. I'm not using primer right now, like before my foundation. I just moisturize my face and then just put on my foundation. And another product that I have been loving and have been saving my life is, I mean, chapstick. I used to not like love, love like chapsticks, um, but I, like I said, my face and like my lips have been like extra dry lately. Um, so this has been saving my life. I really, really like it. Whenever I wear a liquid lipstick, I usually um, use this as well so my lips are not so dry um, when I put on my liquid lipstick. So as far as hydration, those are the products that I have been loving because uh, I don't like having dry skin. I mean, I actually miss my oily skin. For foundation, I mean, it's not going to be a surprise. I am loving the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This has been amazing. I have tried so many foundations for my used to be like oily skin. Um, yeah, I love this foundation. I have it in the color 210 and it is called the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And this is an amazing foundation. Her range has so many colors. Like there, I think, I believe there's like 40 plus shades in her range um and this is like the perfect um color for my skin tone which i have trouble finding like the exact color for my skin tone um but yeah i have been loving this foundation it just it blends perfectly it's just it keeps me matte throughout the day whenever i have like i mean i used to have oily skin now it's like more on the dry side but it used to keep my skin like super super dry and like matte and yeah this has been like my go-to foundation lately for powder, I have two powders here. Um, the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. If you've been watching some of my videos, um, I used to love the RCMA No, Col uh, no Color Powder. And um, that used to leave me a little bit of a more of a, like a white uh, cast under my eye when I used to like set my under eye. Um, but I actually, one of my coworkers recommended this powder to me and she said that it was amazing, um, that it kept her like super matte throughout the day. I haven't been able to like put it down or use any of my powders, not even my RCMA to like set my under eye. Um, I actually have been using this to set my under eye as well as the rest of my face. Um, and it's really, really nice coverage. This is in the color Fair Light. I believe they have four colors. I'm not sure on that. Um, but yeah, I have it in the color Fair Light, and it's just been super, super amazing uh, with keeping me matte throughout the day, and as well, like, just keeping my under eye crease free. And then, to just give a little bit of highlight under my eyes, um, I love the Bare Minerals Concealer Powder, and this is in the color Well Rested. Um, it's a little bit dirty. <laughs> I heard this powder a while back ago from Shanix O. Um, she used to love this powder. She used to like put it on her videos a lot And I remember the first time I tried it, I was like, oh my god, this is like magical Like my under eyes look so amazing. I look so awake right now Like I can fool anybody I'm thinking that I had like an amazing eight hour sleep when I actually have like a three or four hour sleep uh, But yeah, it's been an amazing powder. It just brightens your eye. It has a little bit of like obviously it has coverage So if I like swatch a little bit, you're gonna see like it has it has like um, obviously coverage, but it gives you such an amazing like um, like sheen under your eye, and it's just I really really like it. Next, I have um, this 
Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, Contour Palette thingy. Um, I used to love this back in the day. It has your highlight color and then it also has a contour shade which is amazing. It has been perfect for my skin color. You can barely see it. Um, this is what I use to contour my cheeks every single day and just my forehead and my jawline but it's been an amazing little palette. It's super um, compact. You can just like chug it in your bag if you need to like retouch throughout the day. They have I believe two colors. I have the... I think this is the like light shade. Um, I can't find the shade. But yeah, I see. Oh yeah, it, this is... Duh, it's like right in front. Um, it's the Dulce de Leche shade. Um, and I believe they have two shades. I really like Wet n Wild. It's an amazing brand. Super affordable at the drugstore. Um, I usually get mine um, at Walmart. Next, I have two highlighters. Um, again, if you watch my videos, you already know that I love the Maybelline Master Chrome um, in the color... I always forget. Molten Gold. And I love my good like gold highlight. Um, and this is... For me, it's like the perfect highlighter. Um, it's super affordable. It's mailing. I got mine at Walmart. I went to the the other day and I saw they have four or five other shades apart from this one. Um, and they have like an iridescent one, a more like pearly um, shine, a more pearly shine to it. They have a darker shade than this one uh, for the darker skin tones. Uh, but yeah, this has been amazing. I love my highlight. Is is ever, this is everything I wear every day. Like, I love this highlight. Usually, I use it to um, highlight my inner corner. But today, I have this ColourPop highlight. I love this. This is my second one. Um, I actually finished an entire pan of this. And uh, the other day, I was at Ulta. And I saw that they had um, ColourPop. Like, a little, tiny little corner of ColourPop section. So, I saw that they had a Flexitarian. And this is the most amazing highlighter. I mean, for me, it's like an inner corner highlight is what I'm wearing today. Um, but it is just, I mean, I love how soft it is. Uh, but let me just show you the sheen that this has. Like, like really? Um, yeah, so it has super, it's like super, super bright. And I just love how it looks in the inner corner. This is way too pale for my skin tone. So I can't really rock it on my like, highlight. I did put a little bit on my nose, just a tiny bit, um, but it's mostly what I use for my inner corner, and this is my go-to every single day. Even if I'm wearing just mascara, I would pop this on my inner corner and just brighten this up my eyes. So, so pretty that I'm just, I'm so in love with this highlighter. And I believe it was like eight bucks. Yeah, I think it was like eight bucks at Ulta. So, if you haven't ha tried um, Flexitarian, I really, really recommend it. If you're looking for like the perfect, I just dropped that. <laughs> If you are looking for the perfect like inner corner highlight. Okay, I have two products here for that are like for my eyes and I have been loving. I haven't been able to put them down. Um, the first one is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And this is by far the best, best eyeliner from the drugstore that I have tried. Um, I actually stopped using highli um, highlighter. I stopped using eyeliner there for a minute um, because I just, I couldn't find a pen because I love pens. Um, to like do my liner and this reminds me so much of the Kat Von D liner and it just it's so so easy to just like do your eyeliner with this pen um, I do have to say that the tips are like, getting a little bit like wonky um, but I have been have like using it for a good like two or three months um, so it's definitely like a go-to right now because I like I said I, I stopped wearing eyeliner because I couldn't find like the perfect liner for me I can't actually remember who recommended this. I know I saw it in a video, but I can't remember who it was that said like this compared like so much to the Kat Von D one. Um, but yeah, I picked it up and I can like put it down. I usually wear eyeliner really often now because it is so easy for me to just use a pen. Uh, but I definitely want to do like an updated like how I do my eyeliner video. Um, so if you want to watch that, just give it a thumbs up to this video so I know that you want to watch that. And then the next product I have here, it is a mascara. I am one of those people that if there's any mascara at the drugstore, I'm going to go and buy it and try it. And if I don't like it, I'll usually give it to like my mom or my sister. I haven't been able to like get new mascaras because I can't put this down. Like it is so amazing. Um, this is, I mean, most of my products, I actually, now that I'm looking at them, most of them are from the drugstore, which is amazing because they're affordable. 
and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise uh, Mascara and this is a total dupe for the Sex um, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. It is an amazing mascara. I do have to say it dries a little bit quicker than I would like it to. Um, it's the wand is just perfect it gives you so much length it gives you so much volume i think it's like the perfect mascara um so if you haven't tried it give this a try it's just it's an amazing mascara and i believe it's like between seven and eight seven and nine dollars at the drugstore i usually buy all of my drugstore makeup at walmart so yeah i have been loving this mascara it's just it's an amazing mascara and for eight bucks you can't really beat that i have tried so many mascaras at the drugstore and by far this is like my favorite mascara so my last product that I have here, I have the Sephora Color Switch by Vera, Vera Mona and it's just something that I have been using a lot lately and it's a little dirty, I actually need to clean it, uh, but it has been a lifesaver whenever I am doing like my eyes and I want to change colors like using for example like a transition color, like a brownish color and then I want to use like a bright green for example like for my um, tutorial, the green tutorial that I will be linking down up here. Um, and this has been a lifesaver. It's just super easy. You just take this. I bought it at Sephora. This is by Sephora actually. But Vera Mona has like her own website. So let me just grab a um, little brush so I can show you. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your like makeup brush that you were using. And then you're going to just swirl it around the little sponge inside. And then it's going to clean it. Obviously it's a little bit stained but it definitely cleans your makeup. I would definitely recommend like makeup artists to have a couple of these in their kits because it's just so easy to like quickly like just clean their brushes so they can go in with a different color. Uh, but yeah, I've definitely been loving this. It's been a really, really, uh, it's actually an amazing idea. And then my last, last product, I wanted to mention this real quick. I think I've mentioned it before. Uh, but I picked up a another bottle of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And it's just an amazing setting spray. I noticed that my makeup just not smeared throughout the day. It's just an amazing setting spray. Um, I also heard that the Flower Beauty setting spray is actually like super, super, super amazing. Like even better than this one. Um, and I need to pick that up because I really want to know um, if it's that good. Um, but yeah, uh, that is it for my monthly favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, all of my products that I mentioned in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!